He understands. And Tong Lucky walked us through what was once Doc's store, a place where crime was rampant. This area right here used to be a magnet for drugs, crime, violence. Antong, along with his organization called Urban Specialist, have been working with the Dallas Police Department and Chief Eddie Garcia to bring down crime in the area, and he says it's working. These are guys and girls from these communities, the hot spot communities, who got influenced. For months now, the Dallas Police Department has been targeting hot spots throughout the entire city to help drive down violent crime. Chief Garcia says that's working, but they also do need the help of the community for it to be successful. It's about giving people a moment of pause when they see a police officer in their neighborhood that maybe they take a deep breath. Uh, maybe they think of doing something else. What Dallas is doing does appear to be working. Statistics just released by the Texas Department of Public Safety shows that across the state, violent crime was up so far this year. Homicides increased by 35 percent and aggravated assaults by 15 percent. But in Dallas, crime dropped. Murders down 27 percent, while aggravated assaults dropped to 25 percent. Criminologist Dr. Michael Smith helped DPD draft its crime plan to target the most violent criminals in the most violent areas. It's great news in Dallas. I'm a criminologist, so I'm naturally careful and skeptical, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as a social scientist. I'm cautiously optimistic that as we move forward. Chief Garcia agrees. He says the department is not declaring victory, especially since a teenage girl was killed this week and they've struggled to keep crime down in places like Deep Ellum. It's difficult to, to, to scream success when you have, uh, when you have tragedy that occurs. Uh, and so we're not uh, screaming success at all. Now, this is going to be nice. But Anton Lucky says that he believes things are changing. What was once a hot spot will soon be serving up hot coffee as a new business. He says together, along with police, they can turn things around. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.